family of Karina Castro are holding a remembrance service in Redwood City tonight. She was brutally killed on a San Carlos street one year ago. Keith View South Bay reporter Jesse Gary is live at that service in Redwood City. Jesse. And we are at George Garrett Memorial Park here in Redwood City. Uh, this was Karina's favorite place to go. Move out of the way and I'll show you that they are behind me now. They've got a small table that is decorated with purple because that was her favorite color. This is a peaceful and tranquil park, but this evening it's also a place of shared painful memories, one year in the making. It's been living a nightmare every day. I can't sleep. I can't really deal with daily activities. Um, Every day I just want justice for her. Monica Camacho says she and Karina Castro were sisters in the soul and friends for life. Friday, she and other friends and family gathering in this Redwood City Park, Karina's favorite, to keep her memory alive. I want everyone to remember Karina. I, she's a beautiful person. She means the world to me and to everyone. One year ago, Castro's estranged boyfriend, Jose Landetta, allegedly killed her outside her home with a samurai sword. You know, beheading is uh, a subjective uh, phrase. I would rather use the phrases, uh, yes, the uh, death was caused by the blow from this sword to her neck area, multiple times. The couple shared an infant who's now two years old and with Child Protective Services. Karina's oldest daughter, now eight, is with her biological father. Landetta is charged with first-degree murder and, if convicted, faces 26 years to life in prison. Those at this remembrance service say it's important to get justice for Karina, but also raise awareness about domestic violence. It's been around forever, domestic violence. I know so many people, including myself, that have gone through it, and it's real, you know, and now they're acting like this is a new trend. It's not a new trend. Landetta has a pre-trial hearing coming up this Tuesday, September 12th. This remembrance service is slated to go until 6 o'clock this evening. Well, live in Redwood City, Jesse Gary, KTVU, Fox 2 News. Greg, we'll head back to you. Yeah, heart-wrenching for that community and that family. Jesse Gary, thank you. Kaiser